Welcome to the zoological world today we will discuss about Sicilian. Incredible Sicilian facts. Some have eyes beneath their skin while others have no eyes at all the only amphibians with tentacles the many different species make up a rainbow of colors their hard skulls with pointy snouts enable them to burrow underground babies peel off and eat their mother's skin appearance and behavior Sicilians have no limbs and look much like worms or snakes depending on the species size. Their size ranges from the smallest at 3 inches to the biggest at almost 5 feet long. They either have a short tail or none at all. Their slippery smooth skin ranges in color according to species, as well. Most are brown, gray, black, orange, or yellow, but some are more colorful. Their skin covers calcite scales except for the species of the Scalicomorphidae and Typhlonetidae families. The Typhlonectes compressicauda of the Typhlonetidae family is the only exception to that rule with scales on the lower region of its body. Sicilians appear segmented because of ring-shaped folds appearing on their bodies. They also have glands in their skin that secretes toxins to ward off predators. Habitat of the hundreds of species of Sicilians, most live underground where they burrow, have their young, and hunt for prey. Some venture into shallow streams of their mostly wet and tropical habitats. They are native to Central America, South America, South Africa, Central Africa, South Asia, and Southeastern Asia. People rarely see them in the wild because they live underground. But one species from Ecuador, the giant Cecilia pachinima, comes to the surface during rainstorms and at night. Some can hold their breath underwater for up to 30 minutes before returning to the surface for air. What does the Sicilian eat? Scientists do not yet know what most Sicilians eat, but they have witnessed captive species eating earthworms, crickets, and termites. In captured specimens, they have found bits of termites, earthworms, beetle pupae, mollusks, small snakes, frogs, lizards, small fish, larvae, insects, other invertebrates, and other Sicilians in their stomachs. What is a Sicilian? These amphibians look like an earthworm or snakes. But unlike an earthworm, they have an internal skeletal system with a backbone and skull beneath their smooth skin. Most of the 192 species live underground or in shallow streams, burrowing through the soil to find prey. Scientists still know little about these elusive creatures, such as their temperament or needs, because they are so elusive. Where do Sicilians live? Most species live underground in wet, tropical habitats. These habitats are in South America, Central America, Asia, Southeastern Asia, Africa, and Seychelles. In the Americas, species are native to regions only as far north as southern Mexico. Is Sicilian poisonous? Sicilians are generally not poisonous. But some of the 192 known species secrete a toxic substance from their skin to dissuade predators from capturing them. Some are believed to also have venom glands behind some of their sharp teeth. Scientists believe these glands mean they can inject venom in prey, similar to venomous snake bites. What is the difference between a Sicilian and a snake? Snakes are reptiles and Sicilians are amphibians. Beyond this difference, snakes have scaly skin while Sicilians have smooth skin either in segment-like rings or with calcite scales beneath the skin surface. These creatures actually look more like worms. But unlike worms, they have internal skeletons with backbones and a skull. Can a Sicilian be a pet? They are not good pets. Too few facts are known about their habitats, temperament, diet, and needs for adequately caring for them. They also live beneath the ground, rarely ever visible to humans, making them less interesting than other possible pets. Does a Sicilian have jaws? Sicilians have jaws with many sharp teeth. Their jaws also have two sets of muscles, not the one set typically found in amphibians. These muscles make their bite incredibly strong for capturing prey. They also use their strong jaws to burrow forward in the earth. One species being studied had such a strong mouth that it pushed a brick out of its way to keep burrowing forward in a lab environment.